Now let us look at the next problem. Two identical disks of same radius R are rotating about their axes in opposite directions with same constant angular speed omega. The disks are in the same horizontal plane. At time t equal to zero, the points P and Q are facing each other as shown in the figure. Okay. The relative speed between the two points P and Q is VR. Okay, that means we are finding the magnitude of the relative velocity that is known as relative speed. In one time period T of rotation of the disk, VR as a function of time is best represented by. Okay, so we are given four curves. We have to find out the relationship between relative speed and time t okay now at t equal to 0 points p and q they are facing each other as shown in the figure and when they complete one complete circle they will be again back at the same position now at that instant of time their speed vp individual speed vp will be omega r and that of vq will be also omega r now both these speeds are in the same direction having same magnitude so their relative speed vr will be zero so we know that at t equal to zero and capital t the relative speed is zero now let us take the case where time is half of the time period that is they would have reached the diagonally opposite points here and here again the speed vp is equal to omega r and vq is again omega r right both these speeds they are in the same direction having same velocity so the relative speed will be again zero okay so if we look at the four options that are given the speed is zero at relative speed is zero at t equal to zero t by two and t at no other point it is zero okay if we take the case of these two that is when they are here at t by 4 what will happen they will have maximum speed because this omega r and this omega r they are in opposite direction so their relative speed will be 2 omega r similarly at these two points that is at 3 t by 4 their speeds will be same but opposite in direction so total omega r and omega r is 2 omega r so in one complete cycle this is t by 4 t by 2 and 3 t by 4 and t at t by 4 and 3 t by 4 they have maximum speed which is 2 omega r and at these three points it is 0 okay so among the four options Option A is the correct one.